Hey there, folks. Get ready to take a trip back in time and witness the incredible feats of the old-school lumberjacks who fearlessly tackled massive trees with nothing but their trusty axes. From 1890 to 1935, these rugged men braved the wild forests of Scandinavia, Canada, and the United States to provide the world with the timber it needed. Before the days of motorized chainsaws and logging machinery, the lumberjacks relied solely on their own strength and determination. Imagine the sheer power it took to fell a towering tree using just an axe and a crosscut saw. These men were the true heroes of the forest, facing danger and hardship on a daily basis. Living in primitive conditions, the lumberjacks worked in lumber camps and led a migratory life, following the timber harvesting jobs wherever they opened. Their shanties, packed tightly with fellow workers, emitted a distinct odor of smoke, sweat, and drying garments. And let's not forget the ever-present bedbugs that plagued their sleeping quarters. Life in the camps was no walk in the park either. Strict rules governed these bush camps, with many being alcohol-free and talking during meals strictly forbidden. But despite the challenges, the lumberjacks persevered, driven by their love for the forest and the satisfaction of a hard day's work. Now, let's dive into the fascinating world of these lumberjacks and discover the specialized roles they played. The fallers were the brave souls who took on the task of felling the trees with their axes and crosscut saws. Once a tree was down, the buckers would step in to cut it into logs or prepare it for transportation. But it wasn't just about felling trees. The logging crews had a division of labor that included roles like the whistle punk, who sounded the whistle as a signal to the yarder operator controlling the movement of logs. Safety was paramount, and the whistle punk had to be alert and quick thinking to ensure the well-being of the team. Another crucial role was that of the high climber or tree topper. Armed with iron climbing hooks and rope, these daredevils ascended tall trees, chopping off limbs as they climbed. They would then attach pulleys and rigging to the tree, turning it into a spar for skidding logs into the landing area. And let's not forget the choker setters and chasers. These hardworking individuals attached steel cables to downed logs, allowing them to be dragged into the landing by the yarder. The chasers, on the other hand, removed the chokers once the logs reached their destination. As you can see, being a lumberjack was no easy task. It required strength, skill, and a deep understanding of the forest. But these men were up to the challenge, and their legacy lives on in the vintage photos we've gathered for you today. From Washington to California, Oregon to Louisiana, these photos capture the awe-inspiring moments of triumph and camaraderie among the lumberjacks. Whether they're posing with a massive fir tree, standing on a felled spruce, or floating lumber down the Columbia River, each image tells a story of hard work and determination. So, join us on this journey through time as we pay tribute to the lumberjacks who shaped the world with their bare hands and indomitable spirit. Get ready to be amazed by the jaw-dropping vintage photos that showcase the true grit and bravery of these old-school lumberjacks. It's a journey you won't want to miss.